It's Micah 2 and 10. I rise ye in the part, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us His truth according to the Bible and Hebrew well. Another Shalom, another sincere Akim, so at the four corners of the earth, pushing His truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And another Shalom, all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh all right, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, hope for elect, shalom. All right, and Yahweh is who we, who the world, again, calls God, that's his name in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash. All right, Yahweh Shai, it's who the world, we call Jesus, that's his name in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash. Yahweh, he is, <clears throat> he is this, Yahweh Shai, he deliver, he saves, Savior. All right, his people, Matthew 1 and 21. All right, for you newcomers to this truth. All right, Bahashem in the name or coming in the name. All right. So that's what we say when we say Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, this is not our rest. That's the title of this lesson. And um, very basic lesson, but it's, it's, uh, it's very heavy. Um Spiritually, because a lot of our people, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, all right, where they're scattered, are trying to make this place, mainly here in Babylon, their rest. And what it what what does it mean by rest? Getting comfortable here. You can't rest unless you're comfortable. And Jake wants to do any and everything they can to make their lives comfortable. <clears throat> all right, and uh, we're living in the times where this man, Esau, even so-called white man, is going down. All right, our Lord and Savior is coming back to deliver us. There's no need for us to be comfortable here. All right. Scriptures say those that are. Uh, uh, no, I said Matthew. Sure. Let's see here. Let's see if it'll come up. Yeah. <clears throat> Matthew 16 and 25 says, For whosoever. Of the of the Israelites, so called Negro Latino Native American, shall save his life, shall lose it. How do you save your life? By laying down with Vanessa. All right. Taking the juicy juice. All right. Taking the MOTB. Those things is how you're going to lose your life because you're really trying to save your life. And it says, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You see? And when you when you lose your life, all right, for the Lord's sake, you're gonna find life, everlasting life. So you can't hold on to the things that are here. And people look at you like you're crazy for not laying down with Vanessa, for not considering the MOTB, Revelation the 13th chapter. All right, because you know about Revelation 13th chapter. You know about Revelation the 14th chapter, the punishment for taking the MOTB. You know about Revelation, the third chapter, all right? The second chapter, okay? And also the ones of our people that make this place their rest is going to be, is going to be uh, destruction unto them. So let's go back to Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. All right, I just saw an article out, you know, before I did this lesson, I was going through my news news apps and I was seeing how, you know, rainforest has been being destroyed. All right, Alaska is 20 percent hotter um, than what it was this time last year. OK, this man is just destroying the earth as well as the people in it through what his uh, his witchcraft. All right, his pharmacia. All right, through the foods, the GMO foods. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Down to the philosophies, the doctrines that are pushed here. I saw it in my same news app. I saw an article where the alphabet community was recruiting people to join the alphabet community. All right, and that's and and and, and that's uh, wicked as all hell. 
Okay? Recruiting. And, and look, they were starting, best believe they're starting at those young ages. Oh, you could be whatever you want to believe. This place is polluted. It's polluted the minds as well as the bodies. It says it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You see? And it has and it continue to will to destroy our people until the Lord comes back and deliver us, man. Here it is. You know, you want to stay in a, 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 a place where your first fire, last hire, never get over the hump. Once you get paid, that money is already um, it's already spoken for. It's, 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 it's literally out of your hands, man. What's that? Um, and I, I, I always bring this out when I bring this priest because it, it makes me think about it. They kind of go hand in hand. Haggai 1 and um, 5. Because we read in Micah, this is not our rest, right? You can't get you can't get rest in a place like uh, 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 Babylon, a.k.a. America, when the curses are on you. And these are one of the curses that are put upon us as a people. Haggai 1 and 5. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Right? Why is the Lord saying that? Through Haggai the prophet. Right? Why is he saying this? Because you've been catching so much hell. Right? And you still don't get it. Why are you going through these things? Consider your ways. Verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put in a bag with holes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways, Israel. Because that's who this wisdom and knowledge and understanding is for. You got to be on a higher thinking level, a higher vibration. A, 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 a thinking of getting the hell up out of here, man. And it starts mentally and spiritually. All right. C coming back to who you are as a, as, a, as a nation. All right. Waking up to who the true names of the heavenly fathers on me, God and son, first and foremost. All right. And keeping the laws to the best of your ability and having faith. Having faith, man. Having faith in the names and what is written. All right. Because the Lord said um, a new a new uh, rulership was coming. That's what we need to be looking forward to, a righteous kingdom. Nothing in this kingdom right here is righteous, man. Even down to their laws, their morals. It's all poison. It's all poison, man. You know, here it is. You working all these jobs. All right, can barely afford uh, a roof over your head. Can barely afford... Uh, a warm jacket, right? Jake literally has pockets with holes in them, man. Can't keep no money, right? <laughs> the main part is because of the curses. That's why the Lord said, consider your ways. Now, think about it. Is this your rest? Can you get comfortable here? No. No, man. The American dream was, was never for you Israelites. Now, you have some of our people that have, you know, and they pretty much sold out. But the scriptures tell you about that, man. You know, gift destroyed the heart. Okay? As well as many other scriptures. But uh, what would I want to end it off on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to, um, haven't brought this out in a while. Second Peter 3. Um, verse 10, it says, but the day of the Lord will come. The point is in verse um, uh, 13, but I'm going to read 10 on down to 13 because, you know, this is good. And this is another reason why we shouldn't be comfortable here. Um, Second Peter 3 and 10, but the day of the Lord becomes a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The heavens represents uh, Esau's rulership here on the earth because he's in his heavens. We're in our hell. Right? You know? How was your day, man? Oh, man, I caught hell. 
Jake is living in hell. It says, with a great noise, throwing those ICBM missiles that's going to destroy this place in this upcoming World War Three. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. The elements, everything you see, it's made of elements. Trees, cars, people. All right. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. All right. So this place called America is going to be burnt up. And wherever the Lord has those missiles hit. All right. Now, we know that the earth abideth forever when you read Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. All right. I believe that's Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. Uh, make sure. Yeah. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. It says, One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So the earth's going to always be here. There's going to be certain parts of the earth that's going to be burnt up from the, this... Uh, this upcoming World War Three. All right, so back in Second Peter three and eleven it says, "Seeing then all these things shall be dissolved, knowing that these things are going to come to pass, right? What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So your conversation, your conduct, how you conducting yourself should be uh, how the Scriptures commands us to be righteous, right? And you can't be righteous if you're trying to." Uh, uh, save your life here in America. You're not being righteous if you're holding on to the ways of America. All right, aka Babylon, Nineveh, Sodom and Gomorrah. All right, Egypt. It says, "Is a point verse thirteen. Nevertheless, we according to His promise, right? What the Lord promises. Read on. Look for a new heavens and a new earth. All right." Wherein dwell of righteousness, right? Because the earth is going to be renewed. It's going to be refreshed, all right? We're looking for that new heavens, that new rulership upon the righteousness, all right? But Lord, Yahweh Shai, ruling, man. With the 12 on down to the 144,000 and the elect, man, all right? So just remember, this is not our rest. Not to get comfortable here because we got a new kingdom coming, a righteous kingdom, right? Where we're going to be ruling, we're going to be on top as Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And that's something to look forward to, man. All right? So Lord willing, that's what I find until next time I say Shalom.